okay so let's see how much this four fire stools cost six thousand five hundred and four oh my god what next two hundred and forty nine dollars all right one hundred and fifty nine dollars okay and then there's another one from overstock again seven thousand five hundred and twenty one dollars so that's how you know it's time for a diy so let's do this on a budget hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time you are so much welcome so if you want this look without breaking the bank keep watching this video so what i did is i got one of these fur coats from the flea market so i'm using the term flea market for people who don't live in kenya but if you live in kenya then you know i mean it's like a second hand shop anyway so i got this for 200 shillings that's two dollars i have tried checking in the local markets like i've gone to kikomba like fabric shops and they're either too expensive for example i went to this shop in uh, westland school lane i think it's called ni okay let me not even try anyway i went to this shop on uh, school lane in westland and they sell the far for twenty-five thousand shillings per meter yes twenty-five thousand shillings per meter 250 dollars for one meter of far for far fabric okay so nobody's spending 25 thousand shillings on one meter of far fabric well at least we are not and this one it looks like ships it looks like a sheep skin yeah so i liked it very much i'm just going to show you um another way of getting that look you're actually going to get you're actually going to get the exact thing but for much 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 less okay yeah so let's dive right into the video so the items that i will need for this project are a hammer, a pair of scissors, a staple gun, screwdriver, screws, and rubber bottoms for the frame so that it doesn't scratch the floor, foam or cushion. So my foam is already attached to this wood using contour glue. So you can see the back of it. It's the same size as the, the metal frame brick and i've already painted my frame over here the top part is not well painted because it's gonna be covered anyway but you can see the legs are properly painted yeah so we'll get started with the diy shillings because this frame would cost you around a thousand bob if you had it made by your local fundi just give them a size and a sketch somebody that you trust and then they will make a frame for you or if you already have an existing frame somewhere i had this one made and then of course the fabric costed 200 shillings as and then this form you can get these pieces of form for 300 shillings as well and the rubber bottoms are only 10 shillings each so the first thing that i'm going to do is put the rubber bottoms 
on my frame. This is to prevent it from scratching your floors. Perfect. I'll put that aside. Next is to lay down the fabric. So my fabric is over here. And then fit this punch. Make sure you have some allowance for stepping. And then of course we will cut off the excess fabric. So my style of stepping is normally I do the two opposite sides and then I do the other two opposite sides. It fits better that way. So now with the step on them, I'll just go ahead and step on. When you're doing the opposite side, make sure you're pulling, you're pulling it a bit tight, just to get a tight fit. Not too tight, but just tight enough. So over here we have a corner, and I just want you to see how I fold it. So make sure your corner is folded neatly. There's so many ways to do it. This fabric is forgiving though, like it would show all the mistakes. So just make sure the corner is very neat, the fold at the corner. Also another thing you want to do is position your fabric such that you have very minimal waist. As you can see, when I started on this side, I made sure it's starting at the edge of the fabric and then the excess fabric is on this side. When I started, you can see, so you can see the excess fabric is on one side. So yeah, just always make sure you don't have too much wastage. So that if it's big enough, you can always use it for something else. So now I will cut off the excess fabric. And then the easiest way to, to put the frame back on is this way, when it's upside down. Because then it's going to be easy to just drive in the screws. So my frame has holes for the screws to go in. And I have my screws here with me. So let's do this. And there we have it. What do you guys think? I think it looks really nice. Ooh, and very comfortable. Guys, I like it. I like the way it looks like sheepskin. I just like the way it turned out.